I'm going to talk my way hair piece off. Come with me to get a hair transplant in Turkey. Let's go. Istanbul, Turkey's largest city, is perhaps the most popular place for hair transplants in the world. It's estimated that over 200,000 people head there each year in hopes of growing their hair back. This industry is far from receding. It's worth upwards of $1 billion a year. In Turkey, prices range from $1,300 to $3,500 for the operation, while in the U.S., it can be up to two to four times more expensive. So here we go, five months after the hair transplant, I couldn't be happier with these results. The hairline coming in absolutely phenomenal. But that's not the only reason why Turkey is a hot spot for hair transplant tourism. Wait times to even see a surgeon can be much shorter than in the US. But most of all, in the business of hair transplants, it's all about marketing. Clinics often turn to social media influencers to help expand their clientele. So your driver lifts you at the airport in this cool car and brings you this beautiful five-star hotel. The next morning, the driver lifted me again and brought me to the now hair time studios these guys are honestly so professional i recommend to everyone Although hair implantation is an outpatient procedure, it's still surgery. And those getting the operation have to follow strict post-op guidelines once they get home. Number one, you cannot smoke and you cannot drink alcohol for a full week after the operation. This is the first step of hair transplant surgery called follicular unit extraction. Every time that probe goes into the skin, it pulls out one to two hair follicles. Tweezers are used to then pull them completely out. And then you make tiny little pokes into the scalp and you plant each hair one by one into the scalp. It takes about six months for them to start growing. Results are permanent. This is two and a half weeks later stitches are removed and his hair is growing but it's only temporary the hair is already starting to fall out and they're gonna completely fall out and then four months later they'll grow back longer and thicker as the industry flourishes doctors warn that scams are on the rise unqualified practitioners are offering the procedure at lower and lower costs but with increased risk for the patients in this lightly regulated industry there's no official data to know just how many clinics are out there